Yeah, you know I mean, so you let him go ahead. Now he ain't Trinidad. Wait, you gonna talk tough on a blog from Trinidad? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Come on, man. I think I said something here. You know what I'm saying? You go to the chance, you know what I mean? Yeah, now you're all the way over there. You're gonna have a castle right there. He had a deal. Let's listen, 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 listen. He had a deal. We had a deal, right? We had did something, and I wanted to look out for him. So I, I had set up in a, a, a company, a portion of a company I was giving him, right? Now check this out. This is a gift. A portion of the company I was giving him turned out to be worth what 1.3 million dollars, and he started to act funny and shit, I start seeing him acting crazy and stuff like that, like, start giving niggas directions, yo son said do this, niggas is shooting shit up that I don't even know, I didn't even tell these niggas to go do that shit, and they think I told them to do it, cause he took, he went and told them some bullshit, so, I tell him, go to the lawyer's office, you sign the papers, he got 10,000 for you, take the 10,000 dollars, that's that, he went, he did it, so he gave back a whole 1.29 in order to take $10,000. And this is because he didn't understand what the fuck was going on. And that's why it hurt so bad. Now he's confused now. Bang him Smurf, get exposed. This guy is a real douchebag. We use a word to describe people like him. In New York, we call, we call them cornball. Now, he went on video and talked about this guy, B Love. And B Love addressed it with a video. And then B Love came back on this guy, our show right here, vlogger, and discussed the whole situation. You hear B Love uh, talked about him. Bangham Smurf is a damn idiot. He is a, a two face MF. Uh, like my mother say, a dude like this. Listen, no, no. This is what my mother always say about somebody like this. She said, a person like this wears two faced under one hat. Two faced under one hat. Let's go. It's a beautiful thing. We the people. He's black Puerto Ricans, but he's Man. not Puerto Rican. He's not a Latin king. <laughs> he's not <laughs> Nieta. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So when when you was in prison and you met Bangum and them, were you gang banging? Have you ever gang banged? Nah, I never gang banged. Never was no religious groups, gang banging, none of that. You know what's up? I respect yeah. that. That's a good thing. So, uh, yeah. So you 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 upstate in Sing Sing. This is where you met Bangum Smurf, the guy that's telling the stories of Fifty Cent. Did 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 Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I came across him. Yeah. So, I heard him mention your name, and he says, you know, there was a guy there by the name of Beloved Belover. He's like, I think he's home now. So when you hear that, what goes through your mind? Like, oh, he mentioned me now. Even even with that, I would've been cool with that. But then when I started getting these videos. Everybody started sending these videos and calling my phone, like, yo, this nigga mentioned your name and all this other shit. And I listened to the video and he's seeing my name, or whatever. That's nothing. But then he starts mentioning, like, yeah, you know, these old timers, they sleazy. You know, these niggas drop kites and all that. shit. You insinuating that niggas rat it or drop kites on y'all. That's some, that's some slime shit. No, you got is your name. You know that, boy. Like, you got is your name. Nigga throw dirty your name. You got to defend that. So all this time he's he making these videos and it's. The shit is inconsistent. I ain't sweating that shit because I ain't, you know, you see, I ain't, this is my second video I put up. You know what I'm saying? I, I did some shit for my book and left that shit alone because I was trying to figure out YouTube or whatever, but this ain't my world. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I watch this shit. I laugh it over. I call my man, like, you see this shit, son talking? And keep it pushing. But once you start doing this, I'm getting all these calls and you're trying to assassinate niggas' character because that wasn't the case, nigga. Now, that shit got to get addressed. You know, some niggas like, yo, B, why you respond to him like you bigger than that? Nah, nigga. So you don't come from this world I come from, you know what I'm saying? When niggas throw shit on your name like that, you got to straighten that out. But if I don't, niggas going to be like, oh, it must be true because, you know, that nigga ain't saying nothing. Nobody ain't mentioned, nobody's uh, refuting what this nigga's saying. You know, nobody came back and uh, refuted what this nigga's saying. Fuck that, nigga. I'm, you ain't doing that shit to my name, you know what I'm saying?
facts and they have videos out there with uh be loving them dudes they sleep because these old timers and niggas is calling me so actually so niggas know who the fuck he be talking about because so, niggas is calling my phone like you know what i'm saying so they know what the fuck the situation is whatever so so you know i don't know like i said he doing shit to be relevant after all these years i don't know you know what i'm saying but, but i figured once he said that it was like all right buddy this is the part where you just <laughs> fucked up yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you get worried when dudes say, at this time, he knew he <laughs> fucked up. Boy. Come on. I mean, like, he know what it is, though. Like, I tell you, like, even when I was locked up and I used to check my, my Facebook page and shit through the gym and all that, like, and niggas be shouting me out, homie. Happy G Day, my nigga, and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, I was baffled by when I'm seeing this shit, like, all this gangsta shit. Like I said, it's entertainment, though. I, I watched so when, it. When, because you saw it, like, because uh, uh, the way I. The way I took what you was trying to say was you not dissing him in no nah, way. Nah, it, it, nah. It's it's like, but a person that hears it like him, he'll take it like if you're dissing him. Like yo, I, I, I don't really care. Well, let me tell you why I don't care that he could take it like that. Cause that means your your your, your mind ain't grown none since way back then. You know what I'm saying? If you're taking it like that, you know what I'm saying? Because nigga, I could take it all type of ways with all the shit I've been hearing. Like, you know what I'm saying? From, from when I came home to now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could take all type of shit some kind of way, but I did not laugh that shit off. When you start extra shit now, you know, you know, niggas is sleazy and, you know, nigga, we not gonna do that, nigga. You know the situation? Huh. Yeah, me, I give it to them, you know? Yeah, man, a long time, me, I watch and I see them. I mislead you with them. Yo. I me just can't sit back and I watch the people them a destroy the liquor get to you them no? You have to talk about it <laughs> I say me not, me not I say me not Certain things me not do Me just not And certain things me can't do Me just can't Because the liquor juvenile them a watch you me just care yeah. 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 Hey yeah. And now watch me black brother working hard All week I'm gonna rub him chain Collect bloody money from the black brother head And when him touch down box him brain Me care watch me Good day, my wonderful friends It's me again, the great Great One more great countryman Remember to like, share and subscribe And click and another video. No. Bang and Smurf did it again. He came out with another underhanded flop out movie. On top of that, you hear the uh, black guy that he grew up with in Queens and both of them was in prison, I guess. Talk about Bang and Smurf that he was a pussy when he was in jail but he came out on the uh, vlog talking about B-Love and other guys and then B-Love came and straightened it out so there's a couple things I'm gonna talk about I'm, I'm talking about that but I'm also talking about this that's in front of you this big ugly flop movie that them call Rich Badness 868 Let me repeat it Rich Badness 868 Now We know Bang and Smurf is not a bad boy We know he's a petty criminal We know he likes to talk Run his damn mouth up and we know he is also a slime bag because once you're not around he's gonna talk about you now all these guys who did the movie with bang and smurf i can put my neck on a block and chop it off that he's gonna two-time all of you guys i bet you he has had problem with few of you guys in that group who did this movie and I don't know why you would let Bang and Smurf talk you guys into doing a hand-handed movie so it can flop on a career it's the worst movie cause it was out on YouTube I watched a little bit of it and then all of a sudden 
the movie disappeared. In one of the videos, I said this guy is a genius. You know, but when I really think about it, <laughs> uh, I think Dunsey Head, as we Zion I say, Dunce Bat, where we say in Jamaica, and I think fully Dunce would describe this guy. Now, I did a video early on him and I'm gonna play a little excerpt from it and listen I want to talk about a little pum pum the name bang him smurf when you see the video of my play at the beginning and that is 50 cents talking about bang him smurf apparently him and 50 cents them grew up on the same block in our queens and it used to be in a G unit. So 50 cents when him when him when him boss him actually go back for the youth then. Now 50 cents uh, him set up a company and that company was vitamin water and Bangin Smurf him say start a crazy I do some funny things like I just want to take over the man business and 50 cents tell him listen go down to the office and make them write a $10,000 check work for hire and I got the man go do instead of him should I tell 50 cents no no I chill, my bad. 50 cents then give up, give up 1.3 million. Actually, it's 1.29. And once it's over 5, you just run it off to the nearest 10. Mathematics. 1.3 million dollar. That you can give up. For 10 dollar. That was a piece from a video, my dog. I hear me explain the situation with him on 50 cents, which 50 cents explained that at the beginning. Now I say that to say this. You see this guy bang him smurf. What I noticed about him is that he is the king of bad decisions. Now I think his bad decisions come from his corrupted mind. His mindset is very uh, corrupted. Uh, he always have a plan B, a plan C, and a plan D. But I am telling him that in this movie that he did, None of your plans them work. And you know why your plans them don't work? Why your movie flop? Your movie is flopped and it's not even out yet because you guys put it out and then take it off. I don't know what's going on, but what I would do, I would re edit that and reframe it. And let me show you why. This guy is a real don't spot. Now, you have this international film director, Karma G5. And I spoke about him in other videos I did. Now, Karma is from Trinidad. Karma is international. He's also a Canadian. He have links all over. He's always on the grind. Back when Smurf was with 50 cents, actually Karma was bigger than Smurf because Karma made a lot of money out of the music thing. He's also an artist. 
why wouldn't they incorporate karma in this video to help them or even give them some direction but you know the funny thing is when karma did his show with Louis Rankin before Louis Rankin did karma involved all of them Bonham Smurf Johnny Bravo everybody even the youth from Jamaica who died and Bondi so karma incorporate all of them in his project now they're doing a project with a shitty name rich badness 866 or whatever the hell it is and before they involve karma what them do our smurf did is leave the man out of it cause imma tell you guys right now karma don't want nothing from uno you understand I just, I haven't talked to karma or anything, I am just giving my opinion. If I was in Trinidad, coming up with an idea like this, to write a movie, cause to do a movie you have to know cin cinematography, you have to know scenes, you have to know everything, you have to write it out, you have to do rehearsal, all that stuff. It's, it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not young thing virgin. So, you guys should I get karma? I would have gotten karma. No, I'm gonna say this. In Trinidad, the man them, let me tell you what's going on. You have a lot of youngsters and them sell drugs and make a lot of money. Now, youngsters only need to hire the right people to get on a project out and off the ground. You guys did it in the music industry, you know. That's why Prince Swanee and Yogi B. A. Byron Messiah was able to break out of the thing. But the film business is a little bit different. Uh, actually, it's the same. What would I need to do? Take the drugs money and hire the right people to advise, you know and make the movie now more address uh prezi now prezi i hope you didn't let the man them talk you into wasting your money and putting it behind this movie now prezi you's a smart man if you're a gangster okay and you know that if you're gonna do a movie project, you need the right people behind it to get the project properly dealt with. So I am hoping that you never put your money into this and waste your money and waste your time. Cause for some reason, I just have a feeling, Prezi, from the seven gang and the seven boss and the seven record label have something to do with this movie this movie is the biggest flop since uh eddie murphy uh eddie murphy did a movie uh pluto nash you remember that this movie and pluto nash is neck by neck the only reason why pluto nash would be this movie out is because Eddie Murphy is a big time star but as for the movie from the little bit I watch I gave it a failing grade a E uh, turbo in in everything the the best part what I saw in the movie is the drone shots that, that that they did and when you look at the drone shots they're nice and then when you go back into the movie the the, the, the quality of the movie is it sucks the the verbiage the, the way the movie is written uh, the act 
thin, it's trashy. Uh, everything I saw on this movie is a waste of time. But one thing I'm telling the guys them who's working with Smurf, he is gonna flip on you guys. He is no good on the seat. You see, uh, he did it with 50 cents. He did it with uh, this guy here, B Love. He also did it with Karma. He did it with Rick Ross, because he even tattooed Rick Ross uh, name on his arm like him gear. Uh, Smurf is a loose cannon a loose ball and it doesn't matter what he does he's not going to achieve anything he is calling B love so the man them ugly and the man them this and the man them that no look at smurf he's not too pretty either so i don't know how he could be calling the man them said the man them ugly and them this and them that and look at how him look like I said this movie is going nowhere Smurf bang him Smurf is going nowhere him is a kiss ass him act like him bad he act like he's brilliant and all he is, he's a copycat. Listen, the stuff he's doing now, he could have been doing stuff like that because he had all the damn links. You had everything. He had Karma, he had 50 Cent, he had Rick Ross, he had this, he had that, he had. All you have to do is keep his mouth shut, learn to bring people together, and stop being so divisive. You understand? Now, what is surprising to me is how he survived that long in Trinidad with such a big ass mouth. And I don't know, but I am not wishing anything bad for him, Star. But he got a real nasty mouth and a conniving character. He's a slime bag. So I don't know how he survived, but. Like I was saying, he had all the, the, the all the angles, everybody. All he had to do was just put it together and sit back, chillax, and just make everything work out. But he never did that. Him like chat, him like run up him out, he's a no it all, he's a hater. Like I say, I bet he flipped on all his friends them before. Cause that's his in his character. And I'm just telling the guys them Talk to this man on a redo that movie over. Get the right people them in who knows about certain things with movie and filming to help you know and re-release that thing. That thing is garbage and that's all I have to say. Listen, my name is Countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on another video. I like to say, Smurf, you is a damn hater, and your movie ain't going nowhere.